This is Tom Dillon, the Lifetime Liberal, and today is Monday, April 6, 2021. Uh, the title of this rant is Renewables Crush It, Set New Highs in 2020. So despite of the pandemic, uh, renewable energy sources uh, met astronomically new highs in 2020. So just the other day, the International Renewable Energy Association for the entire world indicated that uh, 260 gigawatts of energy from renewables came on board in 2020. And it was almost 50% more than was brought on in 2019. So they absolutely crushed it in spite of the pandemic, all right? And of all of the uh, energy that was brought on in 2020, 80% of that was from renewables. So there still is fossil fuel going out there. We need to dump it and get rid of it as soon as possible. Uh, but in spite of the pandemic, just astro astronomical steps were taken in, in, in this. And this is what we're going to be calling uh, the decade of renewables. Uh, because if we just imagine all the creative work that can be done nationally here in the United States, internationally all over the world, because Europe is well into this, India is well into this, China is well into this, the United States needs to take a positive forward stance and be firmly committed to renewables from now on out. This will be the decade of the renewables. And just imagine the new products that will be coming onto the market within the next 10 years, you know, that we can't even think of right now, but they're already starting to consider them, test them, um, and come up with the ideas for them. And so a whole new slew of products are going to be coming out in the next 10 years, all related to renewals, all of us, all of it helping us lower our dependence on fossil fuels. Uh, now, uh, the big oil companies, are they still going to make a stink about all of this? Of course they are. Let's remember a couple of things. They're going to ride the the, uh, 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 the dirty fossil fuel as, as long as they can. They'll go as for as many tax breaks as they can. They're heavily invested in renewables. Um, but the biggest thing I think that needs to happen is the U.S. government has to firmly commit that this is the decade of renewables, that there needs to be more investment in renewables, that they need to lead the way. Now, remember, there's plenty of private money that's going into renewables here in the United States and all across the world. But having the United States take the position that this is going to be the future for the United States and for the world, you know, because we need to crush the concept that we need a, let's just use it, a 19th century fuel to drive our 21st and 22nd century economies. We're not going to need it. We're going to need it for, you know, 10, 20 years, but we can't use it after a certain point. We need to get rid of it. So we need to move forward. And the United States government needs to take a positive, proactive uh, stance that this will be the decade of renewables.